Uh, hello guys, welcome back again. Today, we'll be continuing from the other tutorial, the character movement animation, and <clears throat> today we'll be focusing on the weapons. So, in the last tutorial, we had a very basic movement script, and a movement animation with head bobbings and idle animations, as such. I will be uploading the scripts on Pastebin, and will be updated accordingly with the number of tutorials that I do. And as you can see, we have a walk animation. Somehow the run animation doesn't work yet. We'll sort that out later. And we will be continuing this. Yeah, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new script called weapon. Or oh, just gun at this point, so as not to confuse it with my other scripts. So, let's get right into it. Mm -hmm. uh, here we go. And as always, don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions. Email me, maybe. Uh, yeah, just leave a comment. And I'll make sure to reply it once you do. And... Oh, as a reminder that I will be doing these tutorials to focus on the details instead of actually making a finished product within a short amount of time. So if you want to make a quick FPS game, you should look into other tutorials. But if you just want to like focus on the details, then come here. So first off, we want to make the gun to be able to shoot at the very least. So first off, I... We're gonna zoom this in a bit. So first off, we're gonna create a new public, uh, a new <clears throat> variable called fire rate, which should be float and max fire rate, and a pub, uh, private float current fire rate, and then we're going to create a new function void fire. Uh, oops and void fire one shot the point of this is fire one shot fires one bullet while fire is the input of the fire which be which would be transferred from the update function so this is going to make it easier if you want to use multiple controllers such as keyboard and gamepad so that you can just use call the fire update and it will automatically call the fire one shot because if you use the gamepad without using this one and straight away call the fire one shot it will uh it will trigger this like multiple times with the mouse and the keyboard so it basically it'll just get it mixed up between mouse and the gamepad so yeah so the first thing you want to do is put the input so if input ops input dot get button down Ah, uh, fire one. So this is what I have set up. This is the default ones. Uh, I think there's an error. I don't know why. Oh, there it is. We're going to call fire. And uh, if we're going to call it here, if the curve fire rate is less or equal to zero, then you'll call fire one shot else return there we go I don't know what what happened with this one now nah, okay. then we're going to make sure to reduce the fire rate per frame time that go to no per per time yeah and then on the fire we're going to readjust it to the maximum there that's the basic fire rate setup there we go. Next, we're going to play the audio to make sure that it's actually shooting. Public uh, audio clip uh, shoot sound. We're going to make a shoot sound. <clears throat> and then audio dot oops audio source dot play one. 
up. Nah, you know what? Just get components audio source dot play one shot. This there we go. Now we gotta make sure that we have a shooting sound. I think we have one from the low poly FPS pack. It's uh free from the asset store. There's the paid version, I don't know, maybe. But I'm using the free one, I'm just using the model and the sound for this tutorial. I'm just looking for where it is. It's uh, oh here it is. Gosh uh, shit. Yeah that sounds Yeah that's enough. So we're going to assign the script here. Now this isn't a shooting script, it's a shooting like script because so far we don't have any um, shooting mechanism such as raycast or projectile but we will, we will so now we have, oh yeah we don't have an audio source make sure you have an audio source guys because oh uh, there we go like this one, spatial blend make it to 3d and make this 515, there we go that should do it we should be able to shoot oh damn it my headset's a bit mixed up right now now we're going to make the animations for the shooting so first we're going to make a new public game object oops public game object uh web anim and we want to play the animations here so web anim dot get components animation dot crossfade shoot or fire i don't know what it's called uh wait hold on or fire yeah now there is going to be a problem when you just write this type of code so when the animation is playing and uh, for example the animation takes like one second and your fire rate is less than one second the next shot won't play until the this animation is finished, so we gotta stop the animation first. So, webmanin.gift components animation dot stop. This will stop it and then con and then re up uh, play a new animation. Therefore, it will not. Oh, we haven't assigned it. So here we go. Uh, which should be the basic default ones. There we go. However, there is a problem that the animation kind of it moves there. Um. The position moves. However, uh, why? Something's wrong. Hold on. Why do you move the animation? That's not supposed to happen. Um. Oh, yeah. I forgot that you're supposed to do that. There we go. There we go. Make sure that all the position is zero, zero, zero. Oh, god damn it. You know what? I don't even know anymore. Eh, fuck it. <clears throat> Next up. We are going to create the effects, so if you've seen a real gun, you're going to notice that it's actually using... About it's going to emit fire from the top, from the front I mean, and eject bullet casings or shells, and then have a smoke effect, so we're going to do each one. So the first thing you want to do is the shell ejection. So first we want to make a shell, we create empty. And then put a cylinder. Yeah, there it is. Inside that object, make it small, uh, like 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0.1, or you know, even what, make it even smaller. Um, rotate it like this. Then adjust it to the side of your gun, like this. And name this shell. Now you're going to add a component rigid body there and then add a component 
sphere collider and then make it according to the size of that there we go oops there we go and then you're gonna remove the collider inside here what this does is we are going to set a script in which the shell casings will ignore the player collider with physics that ignore collision so when the player walks forward the shells won't hit the sh uh, shells or the player won't hit the shells and then we are going to create a new material um and we name this yellow uh we yeah, are whatever and then just make it you know yellow there we go now make this oh yeah i'm going to import the uh assets pack or at least the unity particle effects pack which i have somewhere here hold on there we go um this is the pack that i'm using the particle packs the reason i'm going to use this is because it has a ribbon smoke effect i don't know if you can make it but i've been using mine from here i hope it is still here oh it's important for them <sighs> this is going to take a while i'm going to update your ssd <laughs> Um, sorry for the bad audio quality guys, I don't know what's happening with my laptop, it's probably my speaker, I don't even know, but I can't seem to use any mics without having a really really big noise, let's see, oh sh I have like, I don't know if you can hear my voice, but yeah, I removed the static, I just don't know if it works or not, but anyway, let's continue, so... There we go, this is the particle we're looking for. This is a ribbon smoke effect. It's a ribbon smoke, it's smoke going up like this. So what this does is it's going to create a heart effect. Well, it's not really realistic, but it's going to make it seem cool anyway. We're just going to reduce its size a bit by uh, a lot, like... Um, Oh, hold on, let's see, point one. Uh, no, you know what? We're gonna make it point zero five. There we go. And then we're going to make a prefab of this in here. Now, on the player object, we're going to make new uh, transforms, which is the spawn for the muzzle flash and the bullet spawn uh, for the ejections why is it so far out? oh god damn it oh there we go so first we're going to set this around here around where it's supposed to go yup there it is and for the spawn we're just gonna make it on top of the camera or you know what let's just make it here there we go now let's continue so oh um okay so first we're going to make a new variable called uh shell objection so public game object shell opt and then a public transform shell spawn so first we're going to make a new we're going to instantiate it by saying instantiate shell opt uh, shell spawn dot position shell sp uh, dot rotation. Uh, this is a simple way to do it. However, if we're going to apply the ignore physics, ignore collision thing, we're going to have to set it to a variable. Variable. So game object bool equals instantiate. Yep, there we go. So the way you can do this is bool dot physics. Ah, sorry. Game object dot physics. Huh? 
how do you spell physics? P H V. Uh, the transform is it? Transform dot physics. Ah, oh, goddammit. Uh, rigid. Um. Oh, physics. There we go. Physics dot ignore collision. Nah, there we go. So we're going to set the first collision to bool dot get components collider and uh, player uh, dot get component collider. Now, as you can see, I haven't made any variables called player. Which I should have done here. Private game object player. And on this start, we're gonna make player equals game object dot find game object with tag player. There we go. Now you're going to assign the player tag to your player object, which is this one. And here, there we go. So on the gun, we're going to open. Why isn't it showing up yet? What script is this? Yeah, there we go. It should work. Um. Oh. What is this? I'm going to sort this out first for a while. Ah. Oh God. Oh. There we go, we got it. So I just need to update my package manager. Yeah, don't forget to update your package manager, the post-processing ones if you use the 5.x particle effect, because I don't know what happened, I don't know where the 2000 versions are. So yeah, so let's continue to the, add the objects and add the shells. So now that if we play, it should spawn the objects. I'm really sorry for the sound effect quality, guys, so let's see. There we go. Well, it spawns, however, it does not uh, add the force to it. So, what we're going to do is that we are going to use this. I'm just gonna copy and paste this because it's kind of long. So, here we go. So get components rigid body dot add force transform dot up random dot range and then set your amount here then do the same thing with the right I'm going to be uploading this script to the paste bin oh god what happened to my accent so it's changed me to a I'm going to be uploading this script to uh paste bin so if you can't see it right now just copy it so it should just oh my god my accent it should there we go. Like that. However, the shells or you know what? The value is still quite little. We're just going to uh make this like three and four. Oh no no no. We are going to make this a hundred. That should increase the amount like 150 maybe we're going to increase the amount by a lot there we go however the shooting animations made the what the hell is this made the this one I don't know what happened. Why is it? Oh my god. I don't know what happened. Why is this happening? No. Yeah, so it just it's just a problem with my animations. Let me sort it out a little. Hold on. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got, I got, hold on, let me. So. 
There we go, this should do it. It made it even worse! No, what the hell happened? Aim fire handgun. What? Um, hold on. Oh. Yeah, I think I got it. Oh. Um. I don't know what happened. Damn it! Something must have been wrong. Now, here we go. This is somehow... Fucking it up. I don't know what's going on. Hold on. I'm just gonna... Apply that. Oh my god. What is going on here? Oh, hold on. Maybe if I do that. Um. See, I don't even know anymore. Hmm. You know what, let's just continue it. I just... Oh my god. Yeah, let's just continue. Anyway, so we've got that basically done. If you are using a different model, this should not happen to you. Because nothing in the script is going to affect your gun's position at any point in time. Anyways, I don't know how long it's been, so let's continue. We are going... We have set the muzzle about the ejection, but it is just ejecting the without any doing actually actually doing anything. So we are going to make a new script, or I'm just gonna import to my script at least a rotate script. It's a basic script for rotating it, for rotating your shots at least. Um, here we go. It is just this, this, this single line. Private, ob private object that transform the rotates x rods times times the delta the time, y rods, z rods, with this as the variables. I'm going to add that to the shell, and then I am going to make all of its va values like really high don't forget to add the shell as your object and then I'm gonna make it like 250 sorry 250 500 250 that should make it more dynamic or as in more random there we go it's a bit more random so when you shoot it's not always the same one it should look, I swear, it should look normal in yours. 
because I don't know what happens to my fire animation. It said, in fact, let me go change the animations to another object. Let me pause the video. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Okay, I got it, guys. So, well, no, I mean, I didn't get it. I just got a new model. It's from Call of Duty. I think it's Call of Duty. I don't know. Is it Call of Duty? Yeah, it's the 1911 from Call of Duty. Um, I am going to just basically, uh, readjust it and then apply the gun animation. There we go. I think that should solve my problems at the very least. There we go. Oh, the sound is so goddamn broken. There we go, it's a bit more smooth now and a bit more realistic at least. And as you can see, this is very annoying, so... I mean, the bullet shells should only uh, appear for one second. So let's just make it a... We're going to destroy it. I don't know how. Apparently... How do you destroy an animation? A... Stop action. Destroy. There we go. I'm gonna pack this first. So, so duration is just one second. Uh, lifetime is one maybe. How do you loop it? Oh, there we go. There we go. So we're gonna make this three seconds at least, and then stop. There we go. So, now, the shells will wait for 3 seconds and then go BOOM! Gone! Well, you can adjust it accordingly, but, like, you know, make it smaller at the very least. Or not that long. But, I am just going to... Uh, where is it? Is it here? With overture, call overture, suspect sort of bias. How do you make trails smaller? Oh yeah, here we go. I'm just gonna reduce the lifetime. So uh Yeah, we got that done. Now we are going to get it to play the reload animation, so it's just, it's just going to be the animations without any real reloads. I'm going to do it in the next tutorial, so void, reload, and like that. Oops. And then just do this. But change it to reload. And then if input that get button down dot key down we're going to change it this time key code dot r we're gonna set it to reload now it should just play the reload i forgot to set the reload in the reload sound however it should be fine there we go and if you should now we are going to make another ribbon smoke ribbon uh what do you call it ribbon smoke yeah and put that in front of the player or in fact just put it under the spawn thing therefore we can make this as the like i don't know if you've played counter strike global offensive but like when you shoot you actually can like after shooting, you can see that there is a bit of smoke coming. Looping turned off, like duration one or oh, two. There we go. And the layer should be clear. About five. 
So it's going to play that that for like two seconds. So we're going to set in here the public uh, game object uh, smoke emit. Yeah, just that. And we're going to put the emit the smoke from here. So like dot get component particle uh, system yes dot emit I don't know if you're supposed to admit that it was true oh yeah it's supposed to be it was true oh damn oh you're supposed to do it like this isn't it huh from bool dot emit equals dot emit oh it's deprecated so just a particle system I don't know what it's called particle system particle system dot uh oh dot play there we go aha i got it now it should play oh i haven't assigned it yet i've been taking too long for this There we go. It plays for once, two seconds, and then stops. You can set it to one second. Yeah, I should set it to one second. And maybe make it a bit bigger. There we go. So I forgot to disable it. So it shoots. It then stops. The last thing is the muzzle flash, which is also available in the prefab samples. Under weapon effects, you will have muzzle flash, and it's just going to instantiate that. So, we're going to create a new game object right under here public game object m flash. Oops, and just instantiate that here. So, what I'm just going to show you today is the Oh, sorry. I also create a new transform spawn. There we go. Oh, you can't. Oh, yeah, you can. So we're just gonna spawn, then spawn, then flash. I'm just going to show you the details of the shooting here. I'm not going to show you the shooting mechanisms because. I've, I'm only doing this so that you can follow along with your current project. Yeah, so uh, let's see. Damn it! Why aren't you showing up? It should show up. There we go. Huh. Hmm. Why aren't you though? Um, spawn. Huh. I wonder. Well, it is. Hold on, let, let me go here. Or, you know what? Let's just make our own. Uh, game object with other cube. I haven't been doing this for a long time actually, I haven't made my own muzzle, th muzzle flash in a long time. So just make it like that one, that one, that one, make it dot two, in fact dot two and dot two, and dot zero one. Remove the components, materials should be frame. 
But I wonder, I wonder how, I wonder why. Oh, there we go. Yep, that's it. Just put that in your prefabs. This is going to go horribly wrong. Very wrong. Or you know what? Let's just do this. Create a new update, a void late update. And then you are going to God damn it. Uh where the hell is it? Hmm. No, it's not here. You know what? I'm just gonna import my muzzle flash from here. I'm. You're going to have to make your muzzle flash. I don't know what happened to mine. Sucks pretty bad. I don't know why. And I don't even know where I put it. Oh my god. Uh. Oh, there we go. There. Now we're gonna destroy this. Okay. So I've made my own muzzle flash script. Muzzle flash at least. There we go. It should work now. There we go. We got the basics for a muzzle flash. For the smoke. At least. And for the shell. Well, that's, as you can see, these shells are still spinning, I don't know why. I'll be continuing the weapon details next video. It's been taking quite long now. And I guess I'll see you soon. Bye!